What's up everybody, it's Brandon. I'm back with another knee-jerk reaction review and this one is on Fistful of Vengeance. I meant to watch this movie sooner. I did watch it a couple days ago. I wanted to let it process because I did kind of almost come around to the end of it-ish. Spoiler alert, wasn't a big fan. But I am also someone who did like Woo Assassins. But I'm also someone, if you don't know, Woo Assassins was a show, ran for one season, that had uh, Eco Uweiss in it, and now they decided to do this movie, of course, Lewis Tan as well. And now I was a little bit more excited to see what they could do with the movie version of it. And I'll say this movie, the beginning, was god-awful. Like, it was horrible. Like, it set the tone immediately that this movie wasn't to be taken too seriously, but at the same time, there was an element of, like, trying hard in the movie. It kind of felt like they were trying to do something cool here. Like, they almost... Like, there's a lot of moments in the movie where you felt like you could just feel almost. Maybe it's just me, but it felt like they're just like, yeah, we did something pretty cool there, didn't we? And you're kind of as if you were like, oh, that just did not work. But some of it did work for me as the movie did wear on. But that opening fucking beginning of the, the movie just really did not set the right tone and I myself am a big fan of Eco. like I said I did like Woo Assassins but it was one of those shows where like I barely even remember anything from it like I watched it once that was good enough I didn't dislike my time but it wasn't memorable either so going into this I was like I can't even tell you where this story left off I really don't remember when I first watched it like when it came out like three years ago or whatever it was but the beginning of this movie, I remember there was like different, almost like powers, almost Mortal Kombat style. <laughs> I mean, not really quite to that level. Like it's a lot lamer and I could do without that. But at the same time, it's fine. Like it's not like a game ruiner for me. But the way they managed it in the beginning of this movie, and I guess seeing it as a movie, like when I'm going into an eco movie, I'm expecting like something a little more serious, you know? I'm a big fan of this guy. He's one of my favorite martial artists ever. We've done the raid one and two recently. He is top of the line to me. And it took on that goofy tone, which was fine in the show, but like I separate shows from movies a lot. Like I'm like, this works on a TV show, movie not so much, even though it's coming from Netflix and they're predominantly known for the show, but this is a movie, people. We have to grade it on those merits. The cheeky tone and the fucking you know, extra Mortal Kombat type of vibe where you have the extra whatever, I don't know, like you have the, whatever it is, I don't even know, like, you know I'm talking about the powers and shit, I don't, it didn't feel right to me, especially coming off of just watching the Raid 1 and 2 again. And there's one moment in particular, like, and you're noticing early on, like, Louis Tan and Eco, the chemistry is just not there. And Eco is fine when he's got to, like, talk a little because, you know, he's limited in what he knows. I know he's learned more English as he goes along. But there's a moment and moments in the beginning where they're conversating and it just doesn't feel like it's there. Like, it feels like they're trying real hard for it to be there. But the chemistry is just not working behind Louis Tan, who I also enjoy quite a bit. I think he can be great. He's got the look, the physique the skills to be a legit martial arts star, and maybe even the chops, but we did not see him here. And then you got Eco trying to give it back, and it's just not working. It's like two cinder blocks going against each other, rather than, you know, something that's sparking into something great. And it just, it feels off from the very second they're on screen, to me, at least. And then as it moseys along, as they're fighting and fucking up people in this club, and that's kind of how this movie is, it jumps from like scene to scene all over the place. There's no shortage of action, but the story is kind of all over the place and doesn't really ever pull you in. But as they're going on in this club, there's this guy fucking people up left and right. This ain't really a spoiler, it's early in the movie. And... <laughs> Eco at one point like powers up like he's about to do like some fucking Buddhist palm bah! you know with this power and he legitimately I believe is what he says he's like assassin strike and it's just I literally like I already was feeling like this movie's not going too well out the gates <laughs> and when he said that it wasn't like assassin strike like in a cool way it was just assassin strike <laughs> it felt like comedic almost like it was so cringy i immediately was like 
laughing out loud and was like, this is not going to go well. I am not going to enjoy this. But I got to tell you, the more I kept watching it, the more I was like, you know, it's not the worst thing ever for eco standards and what he can perform, for what I'm hoping to expect out of Louis Tan going forward, and for what it's going off of in Wu Assassins. It does fit the mold a little bit from what I can remember of the show. So I'm not exactly hating my time here. And the choreography, it's not the standards of, you know, the people I just named, really. Maybe Louis Tan, not eco standards for sure. But it's not terrible. It's not garbage. And they did better at handling, you know, the power sort of thing. Not like power in the punches, but like the Mortal Kombat type power shit. Like it flowed better within the fighting, I think. As it went on, you know, they use less of it, like, <laughs> which is probably a good idea in the fight scenes. But choreography overall wasn't that bad. There was a few moments I thought were that were really cool. There was a real cool moment where a guy, like, shoots nails up into the air and he does, like, a 360 fucking tornado kick where he smacks the nails into somebody. Like, there's a few, like, mm, those got you moments at the end of the fight scenes that are solid enough. And I kind of turned my brain off more as it went on. And although I can't say this is a good movie, it was okay. It was okay for a watch. I have a feeling a lot more people aren't going to be as forgiving as I am of this movie. I don't think I'll ever watch it again unless I'm just, you know, on one of those runs where I'm like, I'm just feeling, you know, like watching a bunch of eco movies and see how that goes. And I'm like, you know what, fuck it, I'm not going to leave this one out. But this overall was still a big letdown. And another big reason why, too, is like, I love villains, man. The villains in this movie sucked. Like, you need better villains in this. The choreography, better than your average. Could have been better with the people you're dealing with. The story shit, the directing shit, the character shit, the acting shit. So you think it's a shit movie? Yes, but if you can do like me and kind of turn your brain off and enjoy some decently choreographed fight scenes, but like also like the redeemable factor of like you can kind of laugh at how bad it is in moments, this wasn't an overall bad viewing experience for me. Even though objectively, I legitimately think this is probably like a 3 out of 10 movie. Only saved by the decent choreography because we hardly ever get even decent choreography anymore. But... Yeah, but overall for me, I'm going to give this movie a 5 out of 10. Right down the middle. I thought I'd at least like it. It started. I immediately was like, there's no way I can enjoy this. And it surprised me in, you know, sort of in my approach on how I'm watching the movie. But also, it didn't stray. It was content on what it was going to do. Overall, it did even out more for me, for better or worse. I don't know. But yeah, my score was kind of all over the place from where I thought I was going to be at going in, then watching the movie, and then where I ended up. But it, I ended up right in the middle, which is very disappointing. Also, I will say that the music in this movie, not necessarily the music in the movie, the soundtrack, there was, oh, you know, I, it's a big pet peeve of mine. I'm not a big fan of rap music for the most part in my martial arts fight scenes or something about it, or even like heavy metal, like that type of shit. It just doesn't. I prefer stuff, you know, speaking of eco, and like I spoke on The Raid, how it's just intense music that's building. It's like an instrumental, and you're like, oh my God, getting locked in. I do not prefer like the, you know, cliche rap. Just like, yeah, man, we're coming in tough. You better come and get it because you better expect it rough or like whatever they're going to say because I'm coming with the stuff. Like that type of shit's going on. Like, some guy rapping with a guitar beat under... It's not quite that bad. Like, Jet Li's movies. As much as I love Jet Li, he's got a lot of movies that have this problem. But the music in this one... there I will say this. There is a, one rap song I thought that worked well with the fight. Um, I Run the Jewels is who it was. I thought their song worked really well with that particular fight scene. So that was good. But overall, it was a lot of what I don't like in terms of pairing paired music with fight scenes and the way they would manage the music like it felt like 
it didn't even feel like the right cue to bring it in. It's like, why are you even bringing music? Like you're throwing, you're taking me away from the scene with this upbeat music way too quick, not allowing me to kind of fall for the character in this like maybe sympathetic moment. And it's already bad enough that the character's not good. You need to definitely at least let me linger on the scene to some degree to make up for that. And you're even zapping me away from that. It was all over the place, man. Very sloppy overall. But five out of ten overall, if you can do the things that, you know, you like Eco a lot, you have some faith in Lewis Tan, even though this movie didn't give, give you that much faith. Maybe I'm giving this movie too much credit, and that's saying a lot at a five out of ten. But either way, a definite disappointment. Check it out if, you know, you think you can do what I said. Basically, I walked you through the guidelines of why it wasn't terrible and maybe barely as a one-off watch, but I wouldn't recommend it, but you're here, so kind of a recommendation you came yes sir love you guys let me know what y'all thought of if you watched it disappointment on my end peace